Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel here at Bobby's Girl Pro. This is going to be a blackout reading here for the sign of Sagittarius and the person that's on your mind. Whether you are dealing with a love interest now or you're looking for new love, I'm going to do two piles. So reverse the uh, messages as they fit and do not force these messages to fit. If you know it's not for you, we just keep it moving, guys, okay? So let's get started. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Sagittarius, and see what's going on with you and the person on your mind, okay? So we've got time to get out of a situation, Sag. It could be you or this could be your person getting out of a situation, but the time is now. Time has come for mending fences. Somebody's mending fences. All right, yeah, protection from a powerful friend over here. Someone's trying to make you do something that you don't want to do. Trying to keep you from moving away from a situation. All right. Maybe they're trying to, maybe they're aggressive here, wanting to fight. All right. Could be dealing with another fire sign. So, you know, fire, fuel in the fire. Let's see. What else do we got here? I mean, you may have a dog. Maybe you have a pet bull. All right. Let's see. We have, um, yeah, you're not sure. You just in your head you're stuck you get unclear thinking you don't have a direction as to where you're gonna go or this person doesn't have a direction of where they're going okay they don't know which road to take could be on the road right now you know someone on the road again someone could be a traveler or somebody could be traveling so yeah taking a short journey so maybe someone's making a lot of stops here stopping to think I also feel like somebody's like going and parking somewhere just so they can try and get their head clear. Now we got an empty chair, someone leaving your life at this time. Whether this is you, Sagittarius, leaving and someone's trying to stop you from leaving, someone's leaving. They're making a decision and they're going somewhere else because someone new is entering your life or someone new is entering this person's life. Take it as it resonates. All right. Someone could like do a lot of going on a lot of walks in the park or in a forest here or you're just around uh you know the nature the outdoors okay, let's see take care there are enemies working against you or enemies working against your person it's time to step out into a new experience like i i was saying could be dealing with a leo you don't have to be all right but um you want to go where the, you can water the grass because where you're at the grass is dying it's like pouring Gatorade on, on the grass and expecting it to grow when you it should actually pour water on it. You're not going to get any growth if you pour Gatorade. Yes, it has electrolytes in it, but that's not going to get you anywhere. All right. <laughs> so enemies working against you or working against your, uh, per, uh, your person here. I heard a thief in the night, so somebody could have stole something from you. So you could have been robbed here with the crib. All right, birth or conception of a child or an enterprise. So, I don't know. Somebody's trying to protect their babies here. Now, this could be your actual children. So, take that as it resonates to you, okay? Uh, financial gain coming from something that you did in the past. So, something you or this person has done in the past, they are, uh, they're gaining something from that. Whether it's financial or not, it's something that was done in the past that's now coming into fruition, Okay, going towards the green grass. And once you get out of this situation, get away from chasing these dragons uh, and get out of your head, you're able to um, bear fruit from this abundance here. A wish is being granted. Okay, August, there's Leo. Okay, so I said you could be dealing with a Leo here, Sagittarius, but it's like you're being shown the way. You're gaining some type of enlightenment here. It's like you hold a torch for someone. It may not be this person. This person sounds like they're aggressive here. Trying to get away from some abuse. All right, a new understanding or, uh, you know, get, getting into spirituality. If you're not a spiritual person, you're figuring out spirituality. You're stepping into a new experience here. We have, yeah, spiritual love. I can't make that up, okay? So loving yourself, okay? Discovering who you are and what you want out of life and deciding this is not what I want, okay? So it's okay to make a choice to change something. There's nothing wrong with that. We all have free will. And if someone wants to take away your free will, you, know, you can't you can't let that happen. You know, get the legal system involved here, especially if you're being abused or if children are being abused in this situation. This is sick. 
I just get the messages, guys. So, wow. All right, let's get some energy around you and this person that you're, that's on your mind or whoever you're dealing with here. All right, the color yellow, the color green, the color orange may be significant this week. Also, somebody may be leaving at night. Maybe they need to leave at night. Yeah, fertility, going towards growth, where they can make things grow. Yes, there's heartache and loss around a third party uh, situation here. Whether you're dealing with three or more people, this could be family, this could be friends, okay? This could be lovers, okay? All right, yeah, celebrating, rejoicing. Getting away from this deception and envy. There are deception and envy around you. Yes, this has caused a lot of pain. Being able to go through a dark night of the soul. Do some deep-rooted soul searching. Feeling like as though you're trapped in fear. Or this person feels like they're afraid. They're afraid of, uh, you know, being left. You know, you're knowing that you're never alone. You may feel lonely at times, but you are never alone. Some, somebody may be pregnant here. I've got to give that message or there's a possibility of a pregnancy. Also recognizing your beauty within, whether this is you or this person, finally recognizing their worth. You know, I'm worth more than what the crap that I'm dealing with here. These thieves in the night. All right, let's get some more information. We got threes. We got three threes out here. So you can be seeing three, 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 sevens about, you know, about luck here and aligning yourself spiritually, tapping into what gifts that you have, knowing that you are, maybe some of you are gifted, Sag, and nurturing that, nurturing what feeds your soul. Somebody may be around you that is indulging in a lot of third party situations or they're drinking a lot. There's a lot of celebrations going on during the nighttime. So let's see what's going on here with Sag and their person. Uh, time for a change. Learn something new. Use technology and gadgets with wisdom. So using the internet, doing some research here. Okay. Some of you may be into technology. You're into IT. All right. And we have, yeah, ghost people. So facing those ghosts, okay, within. You know, some of you feel like you're being haunted. Maybe you're being haunted by your past or, or past people are coming back. But it's time to treat yourself. It's time to do something for yourself or this person. It's time to do something for them uh, for themselves here. All right. Your haunted heart can't rest in peace. You feel like you can't rest in peace over here. So we've got sevens, threes. We've got, um, yeah, 34, 37, number 10 at completion here. It's an important end, okay? Or an or important end needs to occur in order for this new beginning uh, to occur, for you to have a fresh start. It's like, I just want something fresh. I, I wanna get out of this old shit. And then that's just how somebody's saying that. They just feel like they're stuck in a pile of shit. All right, something gonna happen during the holidays, Christmas, New Year's here. Somebody's being haunted. got to face those demons, guys. We all have to face those demons. You got to have enough courage and enough inner strength to be able to do it. Now, someone could be going to jail. Someone could be in a mental prison. Someone could just be getting out of jail. So take that as it resonates. Let's get some relationship advice here for uh, the week of June 20th for the sign of Sag and their person unrequited love situation. Yeah, it's back and forth. There's not enough love. Um, love or attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So you're in an unrequited love situation, letting go of this. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you here. You could be married to this person or just in a long-term commitment with this person. All right, it's, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnerships, whether they are romantic or platonic here. Somebody could be wanting to go into a marriage with a new person. It's going to be different for all of you. But technically, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, okay? 
So we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And we have religious factors could be involved here. Someone could be religious and someone could be spiritual. And that's causing a riffraff between you and this person or you and this new love interest, okay? So you're deciding to make a change. If not, you need to decide to make a change. Someone's afraid of change. All right, let's see. What advice do you have for Sagittarius and the person on their mind? So heartbroken, feeling heartbroken, feeling sad, feeling like, a, you know, you're in, you maybe separate from this person. If not, you need to separate from this person. You could be grieving or mourning this loss or someone, this person around you here is grieving or mourning because now they feel like they're alone. Like I said, you're never alone. Yeah, you may feel lonely. A lot of third-party situations here and having to set up boundaries. And, and no is a complete sentence, guys. It's okay to say no. And don't let someone overstep that no, that boundary that you set in place. I also feel like you have many options or the person you're dealing with is dealing with many options. There's a lot of threes here. So they could be involved with three or more people. Feeling like you're strung along, you know, you just, uh, you're another notch on this person's belt, whether they're male or female. Codependency, fearing, uh, fearing abandonment, you know, feeling left behind. Wait, don't leave me. Don't go anywhere. You know, it's like, you can't take it no more. It's, you got to get out. All right, let's see some advice here. For Sagittarius and the person on their mind. Leo. I did say Leo. You got a lot of Leo here. You don't let pride get in your way. Balance your spirituality with practicality. Be practical. Being Staying grounded, okay? So we got Pisces. And I got double Leo placement. Somebody could be a double Leo. You could have Leo in your chart also, Sag. It's like uh, the eye of the tiger over here. Somebody's always got their eye on you. Like somebody's watching you all the time. All right, we have hold your vision where you want to go, okay? Keep a hold of that. Don't let it go. The answers you need are coming. We got Gemini energy. You could be dealing with somebody that's just two-faced. You know, and if Gemini, like I said, if they are out of their element, they can have a tendency to be two-faced or uh, this could be a sibling too. Um, confidence is your key to success. Another Leo energy coming out, being confident, finding inner strength to move forward. The end of this stuff, stuff, somebody feels stuffed. I don't know where that came from. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So Capricorn, we got Scorpio. It's time to release this negativity and end this cycle. Emotions are running high this time due to this uh, codependency issues and letting go, you know, cutting the cords and, and cutting the strings here. Someone's feeling abandoned, feeling left behind or left out. And you know what? It is what it is, but we have to let go of these connections that are not serving us. They're not showing us love. They're not showing us what our soul needs, what our heart's desires are. So what does it benefit? What benefit are you getting out of it? What benefit is this person getting out of it? None. Okay, let's get you, let's see what's going on with this person and what's going on with you here real quick. June 20th, the week of June 20th for Sag and their person. All right, so we got, yeah, some very artistic. So get creative with your, with your vision here and what you need to do, okay? You know, getting, getting a leg up and moving forward. Get those legs moving. Someone may be having cramps. Okay, illness. You know, you could be dealing with an illness or this is just making you sick. This person could be physically making you sick somebody could be a role model here or want to go towards a role model all right let's see it's, it's taking a lot of pictures and making memories here somebody's in the in somebody's into documents here could be a, a notary could be like file into files here filing something is filing paperwork 
All right, let's see. All right, someone's blindsided right now. Need to reach out to friends for advice. Find some friends that you can actually trust, that you know have good intentions uh, for you, okay, that actually want to help you. I actually feel like uh, maybe traveling to a different place would be a good idea or move to a different place. You know, a different uh, type of scenery. Some Someone needs a different scenery. Getting out, you know, backpacking or hiking through nature. Clearing your head. You're dealing with somebody that's forgetful here. They forget what they say. They, they don't say what they mean and mean what they say. There you go. There's your confirmation. Somebody get out in the moonlight. Somebody wants to go dancing. They just want to, you know, live their life and be free. You know, but, and they could be suffering from an illness right now. You know, getting out, seeing the stars here. Dancing in the moonlight. Everybody. Yeah, everybody. They just want to dance in the moonlight and get creative. Now, you may want to take a new person out on a date. You know, you somebody's piqued your interest here. You could be drinking a lot. And this could be related to, like, stress and what you've been going through. Uh, and, you know, it could be just a coping mechanism. But that's a negative coping me mechanism. It's okay to have a couple drinks here and there. But... This person could be drinking a lot. They could be smoking a lot. All right. So uh, somebody could work in communications here. Or it's a need to communicate clearly, Sag. All right. Let's get some charms here and see what the angel advice has for you. I'm going to get you some letters out of here. It's like paint the picture. Paint some. It's a. Look at the bigger picture, okay? Someone needs to reveal themselves, to re reveal their truth. So BF, boyfriend, best friend, okay? That could be significant here. Uh, BFN, first and last initial. I also feel like someone's looking at something sweet. Someone could be eating or indulging in a lot of sweets and, you know, not eating very healthy. That could be what uh, is affecting your health right now. Your di you got a poor diet, so it's making you sick. By, you know, ingesting all these, uh, these carbohydrates here, these sugars. Uh, let's see. Yeah, paint. there's somebody could definitely be painting, doing some kind of a uh, construction around their home. Okay. Adding new rooms or, you know, like, uh, wanting something different, painting a new picture. All right. So B, F, N, and D for the initials, all the skeletons and bones here, like, uh, revealing the secrets. Also feel like a gift here. Somebody could be getting a gift once they get out of the situation. This could be the actual gift. It's like uh, you're walking on thin ice. When you're dealing with this person, somebody's focused too much on, you know, the sexual energy here, sexual matters, or their sexuality. There's a difference in sexuality. Uh, you're just tired of going back and forth in these cycles. There's a lot of moon energy, a lot of night, night on the night shift, baby. Somebody works a night shift or something. Maybe getting out on the beach at night, okay, would be a little bit helpful here for you. Or you're doing this. Also feel like uh, measuring things up or you feel like you're, you don't measure up like you feel like you're not enough for somebody. But learning uh, your self-worth, doing the soul searching, getting away so you can do that. Maybe you feel like you can't do that while you're around this person. But you are headed in the right direction. Just keep following your north node, you know, going into, uh, you know, new adventures, new experiences. And so I feel like somebody's like, where's the spark in my life? Where's the fun in my life? Okay. Um, I would just want to set sail. I want to I want to go to different places. I want to do new things with my life while I still have time to do it, you know, and it's having the strength to be able to cut things out of your life that no longer serve you. You know, building building blocks, taking that next step, you know, putting these blocks together. Some of you may be building a new home. You know, miracles here are here, so miracles happen every day. also feel like uh, putting your feet in the grass, you know, or even in the sand. All right, guys. Aqu or, uh, the Aquarius, you could be dealing with Aquarius. Or you just need to heal. Do a lot of healing right now. Or this person does. Sag, those are the messages I have for you. If it resonated, please like, comment, share, subscribe.
I appreciate your love and support for my channel. And I thank you. I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care.